Hi, my name is Simon and welcome to another video where I'm going to share with you some hints and tips about how to use OBS with Zoom or Skype. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how to set up OBS with Zoom and how to go about this. Now, this process is brand new to me. I don't normally use Zoom, but someone left a comment on one of my videos saying, how do I do this? So I thought just for you guys, I will download Zoom, get it set up and show you how to do it. So that's what I did. Okay, so you've set up Zoom, you've logged in, you get to your account screen. Now, as far as I'm aware, there's no way to test if OBS is working from this screen. At least I couldn't find a way to do so yesterday. So if you know how to do it, then please leave a comment below and let everyone know how you can do it. So what I had to do was I had to host a meeting. So let's click on host a meeting. Oh, one more time. And let's do it with the video off. So Zoom is going to connect. I'm going to get rid of those horrible black lines. I'm going to open up Zoom and we'll wait for the engine to connect me. Okay, so there we go. I've joined with computer. I've already set up the computer audio. So if you want to set that up, then go through test speaker and microphone and go through that process. And you can see here that the meeting is set up. Now, the video is turned off, but we can see if OBS is working, or at least if Zoom sees OBS, because if we click on that arrow, we can see OBS as an option. If the virtual camera isn't set up on OBS correctly, then I would imagine that you can't see OBS here. You'll just see your hardware. So if you see OBS here, it means that everything should work. And indeed, if we click on Start Video, we'll see this infinity view. Fine. So how do you get rid of this? Well, first of all, you've got to get move your zoom over to your second monitor. And now it's exactly the same rules as in Skype. So when I'm using Skype, I've got Skype on the second monitor and I'm using this screen for uh, which uh, to show the materials that I want to show, the articles that I want to show and so on. And I can see on the other screen what people can see. That is to see that is to say the materials and me in front of those materials. Now, what happens if we turn off the, if we if the virtual camera is not working on um, OBS properly? So let's stop the video. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the virtual camera. I'm going to move that back across. Now, I can still see OBS here as an option. I can still see OBS is, uh, is connected or rather Zoom sees OBS and Zoom is seeing OBS as the virtual camera, the web camera that it wants to show, which is, I could have said that in much less words. But let's start the video and we get the gray screen. And this is exactly what happens on Skype as well. If the virtual camera isn't turned on, you get the same gray screen. So all you have to do for this is not panic, go to tools, virtual camera, start the virtual camera and straight away, straight away you'll see that it works on Zoom again. Okay, I made it look a lot more complicated than it actually needs to be. The process, once you get good at it, probably will only take you around about 30 seconds to get everything set up. But you just go through the basics. At the beginning, do it nice and slowly. Give yourself plenty of time to set up OBS with Zoom, do a practice run, host a meeting with no one there, get used to the interface and indeed get used to moving Zoom off onto Monitor 2 and, sh and showing materials and then have a look at Monitor 2 and see what that looks like. So it is a process of just getting used to it but hopefully now you'll see how what the process is in order to get Zoom to choose the virtual camera on OBS and for you to start using OBS through Zoom. Okay, I hope that video was useful for you, if not far too wordy and far too verbose. But if you've got any questions about how to do, uh, about any of the things that I looked at in this video, then leave them below. If you want me to create any more content about how to use OBS with Zoom or Skype, leave a comment below. Okay, I'll see you again soon.